In this video, I'm going to talk about how we scaled up our LinkedIn outreach funnel to get 30 plus new customers every month. And this we did through a number of LinkedIn accounts in 2023. I'll show you the exact steps that we used to manage all of these LinkedIn accounts. And I'll give you some ideas on how you can scale up your lead generation if you're an agency trying to get leads for your clients or if you're just a sales stream trying to get more leads for your business. In short, I'll show you three methods. Method number one, how to use Chrome sessions along with a proxy tool called Proxy Switch Omega to manage all of these LinkedIn accounts in one computer if you're a single person managing them. Method number two, I'll show you how to use a paid tool like Session Box if you're using all of these shared LinkedIn accounts in a team setting with a team of, let's say, five people, right? That's exactly what we did. Then number three, I'll show you how to manage all of this if you use a paid tool like Sales Robot, automate your lead generation funnel as well as manage all of these LinkedIn accounts in one place. Before I dive deeper into how to manage all of these LinkedIn accounts, the first question is why even have multiple LinkedIn accounts? Well, it's because LinkedIn has very strict limits right now. They only allow you to reach out to 100 new people every, every week. And of those 100, you know, of course, not all of those people are going to accept your connection request. Not all of them are going to reply to you if they accept your connection request. What we've seen in our data is there's a drop off. So if you reach out to 100 people, 20 of those will actually accept your connection request. Typically, it could be less, could be more. Out of those 20, typically four to five will get into a conversation with you, right? They'll at least reply to your messages. If you're talking to only four or five people, it's not enough to get, you know, enough meetings, right? And even if you get a meeting, it's not enough to close a client. So you need volume. These days on LinkedIn, you just need volume to make sure that you get enough leads coming out from your LinkedIn outreach funnel. With that being said, I'll dive deeper into how our exact process works on LinkedIn. Okay, let's move to method number one. This method uses something called Chrome sessions. So if you use Google Chrome, Google Chrome has this nice little uh, uh, feature called Chrome sessions. So you see, I've got like, I'm a crazy person. I've got like 13, 14 different Chrome sessions. But if you're not crazy like me, you'll see only one Chrome session here. Let's say you want to manage multiple LinkedIn accounts. Let's start with, let's say one more LinkedIn account. What you need to do for that is just click on this add button and this will create a new Chrome profile, right? New Chrome profile or Chrome session. From here, you can either sign in or continue without an account. So I'll just click on continue without an account and I'll just give it a color, right? And I'll uh, give it a profile name as well. Let's say I have a new profile who's, you know, uh, outreach I'm managing. And, you know, we've seen that if it's a white female profile, you get more uh, acceptance rate. So let's say I am uh, managing something, uh, some, LinkedIn account called Amy Jackson, for example, right? So I'll just click done and that will create a Chrome, set, Chrome profile specific to Amy. Cool, this is great. Now, what do we need to do? We need to open up Amy's LinkedIn account on this particular Chrome profile to manage it, right? And make sure that we're able to reach out to multiple people from Amy's profile. Now, if you actually open up Amy's profile directly by going to linkedin.com and logging in, then it's a risk. Why is it a risk? Because LinkedIn can see that Amy and your real LinkedIn account, they're both logging in from the same IP address, right? So LinkedIn, for LinkedIn, it'll be very easy to figure out that there's just another account that you're um, using for cold outreach and it'll just ban your account, right? So for that, we use something called proxies. We give a dedicated IP address, each particular LinkedIn account that we manage using a proxy provider like Bright Data or my recent favorite private proxy. So let me show you how to manage that using a tool called Proxy Switch Omega. The first step is to actually go to Proxy Switch Omega and add Add that as a Chrome extension and make sure you add it as, add as a Chrome extension within this particular Chrome profile, right? So it's specific to this profile. So you just click on Proxy Switch Omega, you search for it, you click on Add to Chrome, and that's it. You add an extension right here. Cool, perfect. So Proxy Switch Omega has been added. You can skip this guide for now. I can show you how to set it up. All right, so Proxy Switch Omega is installed. Now, what do we need? We need an IP address that is dedicated to Amy Jackson, right? So for that, we go to my favorite proxy provider, which is privateproxy.me. Uh, they're running a promotion off a promotion as well. They're giving you 55% off if you buy new proxies. I've already got a ton of proxies, like over 100 proxies here. So about 95 proxies here. So let me just show you how to do it once you have proxies. But if you're buying, make sure you use this coupon code 55 off 55 off to actually get 55% off. So it's a um, very nice uh, subscription that they're giving with a discount. Okay, so let me just show you once you have proxies, how do you use it? So here I've got like 30 proxies. If I want to use it, I'll just copy this one proxy. Let's say I want to assign this one to Amy Jackson or let me just choose another one. Yeah, 
let me assign this to image action so how do we do it we go to proxy here we click on uh, show advanced or http is fine and here we just start entering the details okay cool so server is this port is this this is our username so we just click on this click username and and here we click on password perfect so save changes you know make all of these changes here and that's it you know once you apply changes this is the proxy that is applied to amy jackson so from here what you can do is go to um, auto switch no sorry you actually have to go to yeah i have to skip all of this onboarding but yeah you you have proxy here and you go to interface and then on startup profile you make it proxy right uh, so when whenever you open up uh, this particular uh, chrome session you'll naturally open it up on this particular ip address let me show you so if i cross it out and now if i go back to chrome and i try to open up image accents profile here i can just check what is my ip and it will show me the ip address that is um, dedicated to the Amy Jackson, which is this one, right? So this is not my actual IP address. This is the IP address I just put in. So now if I open up LinkedIn.com here, LinkedIn will see that same IP address. So it will not know that I am the one. Perfect. So this is how you manage everything using proxy switch Omega. This is method number one. On to method number two. Method number two is useful when you actually have a team managing it and you don't want to set up this proxy switch Omega on each of your teammates computer again and again, whenever a new LinkedIn account joins or whenever a new teammate joins, right? So we use a paid tool called session box. It's very cheap. It's like $9 a month. So it's not that expensive, but it's very useful, right? So this is what session box actually looks like. Yeah, the very first thing that you see is this particular session, right? So if you look at uh, session box here, I'll just click on it. I can see that there are there are a bunch of sessions that my team has already created. I'll go to LinkedIn sessions and these are all the different LinkedIn accounts that we're managing, right? So what we need to do whenever we have to add a LinkedIn account is just go to create new session and add linkedin.com as a session, right? So you see there's a bunch of sessions that we have um, and yeah, we don't need to go through all of them, but yeah, this is how session box works. So what you need to do is go to first linkedin.com and then, you know, you have to create a new session, right? So we go to session box here, you know, we'll just click on a uh, new stored session from here. And now what we can do is this will basically create a new session. You see, there's a small icon here. So I'll call it Amy's Amy Jackson session, right? So this is very similar to proxy switch Omega, but it's actually useful because you, again, you can use it in a team setting. So after this, I can just go log into Amy Jackson's profile and start doing the outreach from this particular IP address. But first I need to set up an IP address, which, which is uh, specific to Amy Jackson. And I can do that from here, right? So I can just search for sessions, Amy Jackson. I'll just click on settings from here. I can go to other, I can click on uh, you know, proxies. So here you, I see, you know, we have a lot of proxies. We have a lot of LinkedIn accounts. I'll just click on add new and then I can enter the same proxies that I entered in the proxy switch Omega. And then that will open up, you know, Amy's LinkedIn account on a Chrome session. After that, it's very easy. If I want to open up, um, Amy's profile here, I can just click on, um, you know, linkedin.com sessions and then just open it. For example, let me show you for another particular, um, account that we have. If I want to open up Brian's profile here, I'll just click on Brian from window and that will open up Brian's profile, right? Let me just quickly refresh the page and then that will, you know, uh, sometimes I have to just log in, but yeah, that's how I can just open it within, um, you know, with one click. So that makes it extremely easy. All right. So both of these methods are great, but the hard part is if you have hundreds of LinkedIn accounts, then it's very hard to do manually, right? It's very hard to do hundred new connection requests a week manually. You have to hire an army of people who will click on the connect button, wait for them to accept, you know, follow up multiple times to get, to get even a single response. So how do we do it? Of course, we use sales robot. So on to method number three. Okay, perfect. So method number three is actually the simplest. It's a tool called sales robot. It basically manages all of this for you. Let me quickly show you how it does that. This is our actual sales robot account. And as you can see, we've got about 90 active accounts in one interface. So once you go into the, once you go into the tool, 
you get an option to add your LinkedIn account, right? So the very first thing you do is actually add your LinkedIn account. So from here, I can see that I have got like 90 active accounts here. I can even tag them. I can manage them. I can see if the proxy has expired. So it, it manages everything on my behalf. So the very first thing that you, that you do is click on add LinkedIn account, add using LinkedIn credentials. And here you don't even have to buy a new IP from somebody like a private proxy. We've got this inbuilt. You just need to select a location that's closest to you and we'll assign you a unique IP for your LinkedIn account. So for example, I can see here that, you know, this guy's LinkedIn account is on this particular IP. So it's a fully managed service. From here, I can manage all of these campaigns and I can automate the outreach to my target list just in one click. So each row here is a LinkedIn account and I'm able to manage 90 LinkedIn accounts with just a team of two people, right? Like that's the kind of power that it gives me. Now let's look at the performance of one particular, you know, uh, employee that I have with this tool. So what I can do is I can just go to dashboard and filter by this particular person who's been doing outreach um, on my behalf using multiple LinkedIn accounts. And you can see the kind of responses he's getting, right? So in the past month, I can see the volume that he's doing. I can see that, hey, it's he's sending close to, you know, thousand plus messages almost every day using LinkedIn groups. And he's reaching out to a lot of people via connection requests as well, a few people via connection requests as well. And he's getting quite a few replies, right? 13 replies in one day, 11 replies in another day. So I can see that he's getting a lot of uh, results in. And I can see that on my Stripe account as well, right? Like a lot of these uh, customers are, a lot of this outreach is actually converting to real customers, right? So let me just show you our Stripe account and see how this is converting into real revenue for us. So once I sign in, I can show you how that works. But before I do that, let me quickly show you what those conversations look like. So if I go to inbox, I can see all of the people that he's reaching out to and what they're saying to him. So I can just filter by this employee who is managing multiple accounts. And I can see that, you know, um, for example, Christian says he's a president at CMA results. He says swarm today, but interested in a platform. Jimmy says seems competitive to my company male mentor. It's not, but yeah, that's what he thinks. Todd says three, I might be interested sometime in the future. Appreciate the note. So yeah, there's a lot of replies that he's getting on a daily basis and that's converting to real revenue for us. So this seems like a funky uh, currency, but this is actually Indian rupee. So I, you can see that in the last four weeks, we've done close to uh, 15 lakhs INR, which is what close to 30,000, uh, not 30,000, like 20,000 odd dollars, right? In a period of four weeks. So that's not bad. And this is just from our one Stripe account. We've got another Stripe account that accepts payments from the US. So yeah, I mean, this technique definitely works. We're getting a lot of customers and then it's converting into real revenue. So if you want to scale it, it's it's dead simple. Go sign up to Sales Robot. Keep adding LinkedIn accounts. If you don't have LinkedIn accounts, we have a partner as well. You can go to get AIA and just buy LinkedIn accounts off of them to scale up your outreach. That's what we did and through which we're able to get anywhere between 30 to 40 new customers every month just from this one channel. All right, so that's it for me in this video. Stay tuned. We have got a we've got a good content calendar planned out for 2024 and we'll give you real tips and insights on how to use LinkedIn to take your lead generation to the next level. All right, see you in the next video.